This is a video of the Nintendo Switch filmed with a thermal imaging camera. The camera used to film this video is a Cat S60 rugged smartphone with built-in thermal imaging by Flare. The reason I'm making this video is to show how hot the Nintendo Switch gets when it's in its portable mode. And you can see on the video the ambient temperature in my house is about 67.8 degrees and on the screen we have about 72.5 degrees. It looks like we do got a little bit of heat coming from that Joy-Con. And this Joy-Con over here is a little bit cooler. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game. Now please note there's no sound to the game because that is a copyright infringement by Nintendo. I've made this video once today showing the thermal outputs of the Nintendo Switch and had the music playing in the background from the game and I got flagged. But the interesting part is when I turn over to Nintendo Switch and we look at the backside and you can already tell exactly where the heat pipe and the processing unit is actually down in this corner and you can see where all the red is is where the heat pipe is and if we come up to the top of the device we can look at where the exhaust vent is to dissipate that heat and we're already up to about 85.6 degrees or 86 degrees in that area with the game just kind of running in the background. Now if you note the camera kind of stalls out for a second and that is because the thermal imaging camera is refreshing itself for the accuracy of the heat that it's filming at the time. As you can see, my hands are nice and warm on both sides. You can see right here where it's kind of more of a greenish square on this side is where the battery sits in the Nintendo Switch. And this is where all the components sit for like the circuit board that runs the Nintendo Switch. And this area here where it's nice and red is where the heat pipe sits on top of the system on a chip for the processing for GPU and CPU. And I believe it's right in this area here where that chip sits, the Integra chip by NVIDIA that powers this guy. Now you note down here we have these two uh, vents on the bottom. This is where the system pulls air into the system to cool down the internals. And then the heat gets blown by the fan in the center here upwards and dissipates the heat at the top of the unit through this air vent. And you can see now with the game still running we're about 89 almost eh, we might hit 90 degrees there we go 90 degrees coming out of the exhaust vent. If we look over here where the game cartridge goes, you can see that there is some heat buildup also on the game cartridge. Then the back side again. Over here we have the back. Let's see if I can get that in focus. There we go. See the kickstand that pulls out on the back? And you can definitely see where the hot spot is where that heat pipe is going out to the top of the Nintendo Switch. Battery side is still pretty cool and it looks like there's a little bit of a heat signature here and that's probably where the battery is connected to the board on the Nintendo Switch when power is coming off that battery to power all the components pretty much on this side of the Nintendo Switch. We'll go back to the front side and it actually shows a pretty good picture here. You can see that the right side of the Nintendo Switch is way warmer 
where all those components sit versus where on the left hand side this is where the battery would be on the Nintendo Switch. Now if the Nintendo Switch was actually plugged into the wall and charging, the charging the battery portion would actually get warmed up as well when charging the battery. Now if you look at this Joy-Con over here as I take my hand away you'll see the heat there and that's just where my hand was sitting transferring my body heat onto the Joy-Con controller. But on this side it's a little more interesting because where the metal rail sits on the right hand side of the Nintendo Switch this area was already kind of hot to begin with and it looks like it's pretty warm down here on the right hand bottom corner and that right there would be a speaker, one of the bottom facing speakers. Here's the other bottom facing speaker on this side and it's it looks like it's almost like a 10 degrees difference in heat. Uh, the screen itself, left hand side 75 degrees, right hand side 84, 81, so about maybe a 5 to 10 degrees difference. Now we'll go to the back again. And we can see that that heat pipe is taking most of the heat, which is really about right here. It's about 90 degrees. If I push place my finger there, it's just a teeny bit warm to the touch, but it's not going to burn your hand or anything. And then we'll go back up to the top and look at the exhaust vent. Looks like we're about 92 degrees. And if I put my finger here, I can definitely feel a little bit of warm air coming out. It's not loud at all. Put it more close to the camera mic. And you really can't even hear the fan going. Now when this thing is docked into its dock and you're playing it on the television, the Nintendo Switch itself does get pretty warm inside that dock. Probably because it's actually making the processor run at max. Versus where right now when it's in handheld battery operating mode, it's trying to run at a more efficient level to help with battery life. And the fact that this is only at 720p in handheld mode, where it will upscale the game to 1080p when it's played in the dock on the television. So yeah, this is my video on how warm, I guess, the Nintendo Switch gets while it's in handheld mode. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. And comments below. If you guys want to see anything else filmed with a thermal imaging camera, give me some ideas. I'll definitely make some more thermal imaging videos of other products. It could be pretty much anything. Just uh, throw some ideas down there in the comment box. But uh, thank you for watching my video. And... Uh, like I said, yeah, maybe about 95 degrees, I guess. Yeah, 95. But uh, thanks for watching.